In 1997, a 24-year-old Belgian male requested that his head be reconstructed to make him resemble singer Michael Jackson. Three plastic surgeons granted his wish. His quest, they write, was to obtain the facial features of Michael Jackson, his idol that he imitated professionally. The young man impressed them with his detailed knowledge of his own craniofacial anatomy, especially his gonial angles and malar prominence. The doctors accepted the challenge. After thorough discussion and psychiatric analysis, they explain, we agreed to morph him in a way that all changes could be undone and that the tissues were not at risk for considerable permanent damage. Mr. Egorisi, a California inventor, filed a patent application for an anti-hijacking system. In an ingenious commingling of ideas, Mr. Egorisi adapted the Xie bank robber trapping technology as a way to simplify a rather costly anti-hijacker system devised in the early 1970s by Mr. Gustano A. Pizzo. Mr. Pizzo's invention drops a hijacker through trap doors, seals him into a package, then drops the encapsulated hijacker through the airplane's bomb bay doors, whence he parachutes to Earth. I was asked afterwards... <laughs> Was it really, was the dead duck really a male? I checked it. This is a rare photograph of a duck's penis. So it was definitely of the male sex. Well then, <laughs> then I got the Ig Nobel Prize 2003, especially for you people. Here's the duck. The surgeons write that, normally, patients strive for an ideal, beautiful, normal contour of the facial bones. We were confronted with a patient who requested a three-dimensional overcorrection. They saw simple ways to rearrange the young man's chin, and also his cheekbone arches, but how to achieve the desired posterior mandibular augmentation. That was the puzzler. Solving it would be a medical first.